this policy has emanated from at least a 25 weeks of deliberation, a critical analysis, a counter analysis, and uh, adoption within the different structures of the Ambazonian Governing Council. And the last uh, organ to adopt, as is usually the case with the Ambazonian Governing Council, was uh, the National Council of the Ambazonian Governing Council. But also, I would like to thank the policy chief and uh, the policy team within the organization. I think that is one of the biggest working department that the only work in the background and then the president the vice president all of us come forward to take credit for it but the real workers are uh, behind the scenes this policy in itself it's a new turn and i'll be talking more about that it's a new turn in order to grant what we call a regulatory a cohesive and normative institutions a building within ambazonia it also uh, places a Cameroon on the watch list of Ambazonia, but also places multinational companies as well as a Cameroonian companies uh, on, 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 on notice that you are not going to exploit Ambazonia again. You would pay for those other companies that have been paying. Remember, this is one of the biggest uh, amber water or cam water as it used to be called. It's one of the biggest, or it's the watershed of all the big companies. But other medium-sized companies have been paying their uh, 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 liberation tax in the last month. And it is also the case that in the development of this policy, all of these companies were notified officially with a letter from the governing council that they will be uh, liable to a nominal tax for now. While we move forward, our experts will design uh, an equitable tax system for these guys uh, to cover up uh, during this uh, liberation phase. This liberation tax has emanated from a series of discussions, a series of meetings, both within, uh, within the Ambazonia Governing Council and uh, beyond with our sister forces and other uh, sister organizations without going into much detail. This tax is not only going to benefit the Ambazonia Governing Council, but other sister forces and other independent forces that are truly fighting for the liberation of Ambazonia. But it is the case that when you pay the tax, you have to report whether you pay to a sister force. There is a single mechanism whereby you pay that tax. And we think coming up with this policy, we have evaluated our systems. We've evaluated our posture, where Ambazonia is, and we've realized that we can and we have implemented uh, a, a trial ba on, on a trial basis this tax uh, for the last uh, two months and it is time now to uh, fully implement it and I, 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 I would urge all multinationals to be binding. It is also a signal to big companies ending at least 20 million a year to understand that you cannot exploit Ambazonian resources and pay them to Cameroon to use to buy weapons in order to commit atrocities, genocide in Ambazonia. They have been ripping huge profits in Ambazonia and paying their taxes to Cameroon. It is time for them to pay their taxes to the rightful owner of the land that they exploit, to the rightful owner of those who pay their bills to them or those who consume their products and services. We are going to enlarge this. We've contacted the first 100 companies and supply them with their official letters to cough up. So we're going to extend this. I think our teams are working very hard in order to extend this to uh, most companies uh, uh, that fall within the threshold uh, uh, to be included in this first phase of a nominal tax. I would like to make an announcement here to the Ambazonian people. The Governing Council of Ambazonia has launched a special tax force, a branch within the ADF, a unit of the ADF, a new unit of the ADF that is specialized to implement this plan on the ground. It's a new force. It's a new unit. It has been empowered and mandated to implement this policy on the territory. That's the announcement for today. Let's move forward, Mr.